I now want to transition to the Washington football team. So Washington right now heading into week 15 of the 2020 NFL season. They're currently 6-7 and seven on the year. They currently lead the woeful, terrible, no good NFC East division. And look, I cannot overstate how good of a job head coach Ron Rivera has done in year number one. I understand that the the Washington football team is below 500, but you can clearly see if a team is making progress. You know, if you just watch them play and not look at the record. Last year, the last year the Miami Dolphins, I said they were making a ton of progress despite being below 500 because Brian Flores had that team improving and playing hard each week. You could say the same thing this year about Joe Judge and the Giants. You could say the same thing about Matt Rule and the Carolina Panthers this year. Last year, I said the Arizona Cardinals, look out, they're an up-and-coming team. So I don't really pay too much attention to the record. I will say Washington already has doubled their win total from last year. They only won three games last year. They've won six games this year. There's three games left remaining on the schedule. This team plays hard. They improve, they improve every single week. And the culture... And the standard in Washington has clearly changed, and that is due to Ron Rivera. However, I believe Alex Smith deserves a lot of credit as well. Initially, Ron Rivera named Dwayne Haskins the starting quarterback at the at the beginning of the year. He benched Dwayne Haskins after four weeks. He demoted him to third string. At the time, I disagree with the move. I still disagree with the move as I speak today. Um, just because I don't think that Alex Smith and Kyle Allen, you know, when they play games, have proven to be significant upgrades from Dwayne Haskins. And for what it's worth, you know, the Washington football team has beaten the Dallas Cowboys twice. They've beaten the Bengals. They've beaten the 49ers. A lot of bad teams that they've beaten, you know. I think that if you gave Dwayne Haskins more time to properly develop and, and you know, really get his feet wet in this new offense, he would be doing very similar things as of right now. But, you know, I got to say, you know, I think that Alex Smith definitely has, has provided a spark for Washington. And it's pretty clear to see that with a young team, Alex Smith has really steered the ship in the right direction. And he's helping this young Washington football team learn how to win games. You know, he's really become a great leader for Washington, Washington because Guys like Cam Sims, Logan Thomas have stepped up while Alex Smith has played. They're getting better. The defense seems to be rallying around Alex Smith, you know. And he's not knocking your socks off. He's only thrown four touchdowns to six interceptions on the season. Got a 79 pass rating. That's not particularly great. But what Alex Smith is doing is he's making the right reads. He's sustaining drives. And he's not trying to do too much. He's done a solid job of managing football games. That's kind of just what Washington needs. And it seems like that Alex Smith is the type of quarterback that Ron Rivera caters to. Ron Rivera is a defensive-minded head coach. Keep that in mind. So what does that mean? That means that anytime the offense is behind the eight ball and the offense makes mistakes, that affects the defense. And because Ron Rivera is so passionate about his defense because he's a defensive-minded head coach. That tends to tick off Ron Rivera when the offense is not helping out the defense because, well, he's a defensive-minded head coach. He likes a quarterback that he can trust, that doesn't make a ton of mistakes, and a quarterback that's just going to run the offense that is given to him. Ron Rivera doesn't need Alex Smith or Dwayne Haskins or Kyle Allen to be world beaters right now because, well, the offense really is not that good. You know, the offensive line is kind of hit and miss. Outside Terry, you don't have a whole lot of weapons. But if Washington just takes care of the football and they just run their offense effectively and chew out the clock and the offense doesn't make mistakes and they allow the defense to do what they need to do, that's where Washington wins football games. So Ron Rivera definitely seems to admire Alex Smith. I think he likes his – he likes the way – he sort of commands the locker room. He, he embraces his leadership. And Alex Smith seems like the right type of quarterback that Ron Rivera would cater to. And I could see Alex Smith 
being the starting quarterback for Washington next season. It seems like the coaching staff really likes Alex Smith being in the building. They trust him. And Alex Smith could be a guy that, that is there to continue to mentor one Dwayne Haskins. Or if Washington decides to draft another quarterback, if they've given up on Dwayne Haskins. Personally, I have not given up, given up on Dwayne Haskins. I believe in Dwayne Haskins. I believe Dwayne Haskins can become a franchise quarterback. I have not sold my stock on him. But, hey, the coaching staff could feel a whole different way about Dwayne Haskins. So if you draft another quarterback, Alex Smith could be the mentor for that young quarterback, very similar to how he was the mentor for Patrick Mahomes a couple of years ago when the Kansas City Chiefs traded up in the draft to go snag Patrick Mahomes, okay? And listen, at some point, Washington is going to need to upgrade at quarterback because it's not like Alex Smith is playing like a top 10 quarterback quarterback right now. He's not scaring anyone. He's not lighting the world on fire. And for what it's worth, a prime Alex Smith, when he had a ton of weapons in Kansas City and when he had a great roster in San Francisco, he still couldn't get the job done. He could not win a Super Bowl with those rosters. And we saw Patrick Mahomes take that same roster that Alex Smith had and virtually not even look back twice, okay? Patrick Mahomes took the Kansas City Chiefs from a good team to a Super Bowl team. You know, because Alex Smith, he was good, but not quite good enough to win um, Kansas City a Super Bowl. Same thing with the 49ers. He wasn't quite good enough to win them a Super Bowl, okay? So, at some point, I don't. I think that Washington definitely needs to upgrade a quarterback. I don't trust Alex Smith to lead them to the promised land. So, at some point, I want to see Dwayne Haskins take over this team. At some point, I want to see maybe Washington, Washington upgrade the quarterback position, okay? But I think that I think that Alex Smith could be the stop bridge gap quarterback to Dwayne Haskins or maybe a guy like um, Trey Lance, Mac Jones, uh, Zach Wilson if, if Washington wants to draft the quarterback. I fully believe that Alex Smith probably is going to be on the roster next year. I could be wrong, but I think that Ron Rivera and the coaching staff want to keep Alex Smith along for the right, just for the short term at least, I could see Alex Smith being the short term answer at quarterback for Washington. The coaching staff seems to believe in him, and the team is winning games led by Alex Smith's leadership. So that's how I feel about Alex Smith. And by the way, I kind of want to give him a mini shout out just because he had that gruesome leg injury. You know, I didn't even I didn't even think Alex Smith would be a good starting quarterback anymore. You know, due to his injury a couple of years ago, but He's worked his way back. He's playing some good football. And it's great to see Alex Smith, you know, really, you know, starting to rally this Washington football team. He's definitely been a big part of their success this year. His leadership, his accuracy has definitely helped out the team. Um, I think that he's definitely great for that locker room and that building. And I won't be shocked if Alex Smith wins comeback player of the year this year. So that's how I feel about Alex Smith. He definitely could be at least the short-term future at quarterback in Washington. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. And I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.